still got to do a few things, but it's on. I'm going to get the trailer back in transport. I also own a farm. Here we go. You are now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. It is raining today, and it rained all night, so it's allowing us to catch up on some things. We had some issues with uh, the tanks, everybody's tanks yesterday. So that will be coming in the future, but we had 394 comments on the, I don't even have it in here, the all light giveaway light. So I got it randomly selected, number 248 so i'll go down through the comments get number 248 and we'll see who it is tim vincent 3709 with the comment i've been a small farmer most of my life my dad taught me to be a mechanic welder machinist fabricator if you want to make it as a farmer you need to keep old stuff going you're the winner of the whole light <clears throat> so i'll write here to send me an email and we'll get it going but we'll dive into whatever we're doing in this video <laughs> so Appreciate you guys. Oh, well, previously we did realize that this had started cracking, which you gotta figure, I forget if this is 50 or 60 gallons of hydraulic oil. Um, so it's got a little bit of weight hanging off the side of it. And uh, yeah, that and then right there. So we'll get it welded up, um, but we can, uh-oh. Forgot about that. <laughs> Let's get that folded up and out of the way. Somebody picked up was this bent end it was supposed to be over there. Good call. I didn't even think about that until I read the comments. So somebody did say yesterday um, they didn't think I'd, I'd read their comments. I read every comment, good, bad, all. Just it's all part of the channel to me. But let me tap those out. Uh, Somebody was all worried that you gotta hit this side and it will just pop out. Previously, that did not work. So, if you guys want hours of me struggling and doing stuff, we could put that in a video, but it doesn't make good content. Well, they come out a lot easier when they haven't been sitting in there for, uh, who knows if that was original or not. I have zero idea. But, this truck is a 1978, so it might have been in there for a long time. But good call on that. Glad we got it swapped nice and easy. I had to get them snug back up. And then we'll take, we got hydraulic filter to do on the wet kit side of it, which I've never switched and it's on there pretty aggressively. I think I switched it once, but I don't think so. I don't know. Just close that up for now. Got front brakes adjusted. Got to run through the whole thing. Trailer, I know the brakes are not adjusted properly. Um, keep in mind, I had somebody else running manure trucks for me prior. Um, I did very little bit the last few years of them running. So, unless I drove it, I didn't really know. So the other day when I was when I was uh, driving this, yeah, I was like, brakes on the trailer really need to be adjusted. So if we get stuff done with this, we'll back that in. No point in laying in the mud today. I have a feeling this is gonna fight us because I tried taking it off the other day and I didn't want to damage it. But pretty sure it's gonna fight us taking it off. I did end up getting two of them, so we got a spare on the shelf for the future. Getting better at keeping things around, so. Let me, uh, we might need a punch and a chisel and 
Hammer that out. Yeah. This is not gonna be fun. I don't think that goes big enough. Oh, all I can think of is the time huh? Millennial Farmer had his filter problem and What's up, Ian? Are you wet? Okay, put a punch in it, spin it off. Got this punch through it. Oh yeah. Ooh, it does not like that. But it will. smaller to grab onto that. Um, it will pull off. Will this work for this? Let's see why not. Oh yeah. Weird. Alrighty. Oh. Nope. That's not working. Um I should shut that off though. Something I never thought about, it drains out till it's at that point. Because the return line is uh well at the bottom of the tank. And this sits halfway up the tank, so. Yeah, this is, we're losing fluid, which is bad. That's a win right there. Let's get this welded up. Hopefully I got enough gas. Otherwise we gotta get some gas this week. Um, yeah, it was on my list, so. I'll get this cleaned up, up and around. Same with the other side, we got a little bit here. Um, this tank came with the trailer. It was on a straight truck at that point. So it's not like it ever, it's not like it was brand new four years ago. It lived a life before I got it. So this is just me. That was, yeah, my problem. Forgot to, oh. Huh. You gotta remember, I welded this stuff four years ago. I really didn't know what I was doing. So this got baffles four years ago. Three years ago, we put back walls in it, um, the door and stuff like that. So hopefully we're in a good place as far as it, it just doing its thing this year. excessive don't want it to break again mud flaps we'll see if we got enough gas for that so previous previously we made these little hooks and the mud flap sat down in them they weren't strong enough the truck bounces quite a bit and we ended up breaking one of them and the reason I want them to come on and off and I know they make kits and stuff like that um, the reason I want them to come on and off is if we when we run the floaters so here is we reinforced it after that did not work the way we wanted it to at all so i got a different idea and uh i don't know if this truck's ever going to have those flo flotation tires on them the big super singles that i got if we get into some field spread and stuff like that close to farms they make a lot more sense these tires are not good off-road at all zero but i bought them real cheap and they're retreads and yeah honestly the ones that are on the max i bought these for like 800 bucks if that yeah 800 bucks a tire a uh, hundred dollars a tire or something like that and they were in rims bought 
that was a Facebook marketplace deal when we uh, ended up buying the hoop building and the, and the quick hitch and all that. So what I'm thinking, we got that pipe over there. We will go ahead, weld it out here, and that pipe actually slides into this pipe. So if we drill a hole through both of them, you can put a bolt in it. And then if we need to, we just take the bolt off and they slide on and off. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see if it works. Only had 56 inches of this pipe. Could have used two more, but this already has a structure built onto it. So something like that will get us to a good spot. But drill a hole through there, get this tacked up, take the flag off. Um, I got the other side all prepped already too. Bam, we got it. A little paint. Oh, we got to drill this hole. So let's go ahead and do that, figure out what size we want. That way we can take this out because the floater tires honestly come out to probably here. So they hit no matter what you try to do with mud flaps if you move them back or anything else like that. Plus they stick out to about here. So you can't, I'm sure we could run mud flaps, but we can't run mud flaps at the same time. So doing that, I also got an issue. Um, I got to get my truck, I got to get moved around. And I almost had a way back from where my tanker is today. I might load my pickup on the trailer and bring it up and drop it at the farm. And then tomorrow when I bring the truck up, cause I gotta go, um, I got stuff to do tomorrow afternoon north of there. So yeah, we might run the land all and load the truck on the trailer so people get all worked up that, oh, the truck broke down again. <laughs> Got a little bit of play, but not much. That is what we like to see. That's how I should have built them the first time. But, you know, if it doesn't work the first time, just re-ramp your decision making. <laughs> Got the last bit welded and it started acting weird, so that last mud flap, don't, don't ever judge me too much on that because we're out of gas, completely out. So, that's on the list this week, which I'm fine with that, we don't need, this was just a rainy day project that we're messing around with to get some things done. I was gonna work on the disc. I got disc parts over there and uh, well, it was raining. So I didn't wanna work outside in the complete soaking wet. We, we got a little uh, ability to ha have the finer things in life now. Sorry, I'm poking you guys all sideways. Needs paint and it needs a bolt drilled. Um, rails are in the way, so adjust the brakes, back it out. Get it at an angle, drill it, paint that up. We uh, actually threw a little bit of paint on everywhere else that we messed with. Whew. Might as well paint the whole truck, right? Just kidding, we're not doing that. I am kidding, people. So let me air up the truck and uh, climb underneath, adjust that. I do, I actually, hold on. While I'm under there, I got the bolt that goes across for the leaf spring. Um, they only had a six inch and grade eight and they had an eight inch. They didn't have any sevens. I wanted a seven, but I'm thinking a six might work. Might work. Oh, six might work. So there we go. We got that one back in. Um, everything looks good here. Hendrickson suspension. 38,000 rears. N not a heavy, heavy duty truck. It is a double frame and it's super, super clean double frame, which has been nice. Like I said, this truck is, other than the paint job on the cab, this truck's been really, really clean. Um, yeah, we still gotta pull the other transmission that's going into this at some point.
just get some more gears and more drivability for the driver running it. All adjusted, get it backed out, turned around. Hopefully we can jackknife it a little bit and uh, oh, get it at an angle. Drill that while we adjust the rears. And honestly, other than cleaning the cab out, this truck's ready to go. Yep, the trailer was way out of adjustment. Should be good, all greased. I'll get this pulled out of the way and probably throw the Mac on the Landall and get that done. That way tomorrow we we can do some work in the morning and have a good day. It definitely stops now, which is good. It's always awkward when you're loaded and you don't really have any brakes. Granted, we haven't run this loaded with no brakes here. Figures got hooked up and trailer is absolutely sunk. And I know I need more stone around here and things like that, but somebody did say, why don't you uh, push yourself out with the trailer? Never thought about that before last time I was stuck. I think we can do that here. I don't want to bend that ram that is in the trailer because, uh, let's see truck is good so let's slide the trailer forward gonna engage it Is Adam said get underneath and okay so now if we lock the trailer <laughs> it is in the mud it gets so wet right down in here legit in the mud what's up boys I know the grass is getting green we're getting closer it's got to stop raining though So now if we lock, lock the trailer, we should be able to push the truck forward. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. Okay.
got no weight on the drives and it just sinks down and stuck so it doesn't want to pull anything plus it's not like we got diff lock wow you guys are covered in rain the kenworth has full lockers and a bunch of people keep asking about it the block should be back from the machine shop and i'd really like to move fertilizer with that for myself um and the main thing it's going to do is live on this land all it's going to pull the land all and uh things like that so that truck it's, i wish i had it right now that would be i go move my pickup with that that thing's got legs under it where uh yeah this truck doesn't have the same but uh all righty up on you gotta love it when it actually drives on the trailer and it's good oh my god well we still got to do a few things but it's on i'm gonna get the trailer back in transport get it hooked up feed yanko i do have wiper blades for this and then we will go drop this at the farm that way i can do my run around stuff yeah me and Zach Newton were talking about tow hitch on the on the future vehicle that we're gonna have as a commuter. I don't think you can with a tractor trailer. It becomes a yeah, you can't legally. So yeah, we could on the back of this though if we put a pintle hitch. and we are off so this isn't the most efficient use of my time but honestly it's a priority so that I can um, at the end of the day so I can go see my daughter so I gotta run around some and have equipment up there otherwise I'd probably find somebody on Monday to come get me a ride and then I'd take the truck up but yeah it makes it more efficient it gives me more time that's really what it is i lose time by doing this but all part of it so we'll get down the road gorgeous sunset over there oh yeah love it coming through glenn here we made it and the tanker's still here so that's always good i'll get it un unchained and yeah, we'll get going. So, uneventful ride. A few things. The switch for our work lights is acting up, which is annoying. It's flickering on and off. And then our tail, well, our marker lights on the rear, the red ones, those are not working. But we'll get this unloaded and just things to remember always something I don't care who you are it's part of trucking just like that we're rolling home so I appreciate Neil letting me uh, park the tanker there granted we do work with them um, but it's always nice convenient great place to park so pickups there Tomorrow I gotta run this up, up to the tank, and then I got my pickup, and this will be ready to work for the week, depending on where we will be going in this general area. So, alrighty, I'll jump home. It's just after nine now, so probably at 11.30 by the time we stop and get something to eat. So options to eat after 10 o'clock, you gotta select ones. And I wanted to go to Amigos and get tacos on the way back. But they closed at nine and we didn't unload till just after nine so that was no bueno but uh we're over here dave's hot chicken i am a big fan of it um getting in here was a little interesting but getting out might be even worse but yanko and i are sitting here and let me open this up for you guys and put some light to it yeah 
We ain't gonna starve tonight, bud. You already ate dinner though. So I'm gonna take a few bites and then we'll keep moving. Wind is brutal on the way back. So absolutely brutal pushing us around and stuff. We made it home. It's extremely windy. I'm sure the mic is picking that up. I'll see you guys on the next one. We got some more stuff done on trucks and we're moving things around. And yeah, it's gonna be good. So appreciate you guys and have a good one.